What is going on YouTube? Hannah back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. As you guys know, we are still doing our crypto coin display giveaway right here for this XRP ticker display. All you have to do to win one of these uh, $130 displays is just comment your favorite cryptocurrency down below as well as comment subscribed. All you got to do is those two things and you'll be entered for the giveaway and the drawing tomorrow morning. And make sure to subscribe as I will be checking. More importantly, what we're looking at in today's video is a continuation from where we left off off yesterday, which was in regards to China banning cryptocurrency, all cryptocurrencies and anything to do with it and making it completely illegal. Well, today we're going to be talking about why China finally decided to ban Bitcoin. I feel like it's fairly anonymous, but I want us to all be on the same page. So we're going to go over that and discuss that. And we're going to talk about how that kind of influenced the consistent moves within uh, most of cryptocurrencies, XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Cardano, not really seeing anything too out of the ordinary. This was almost expected. And if this article never came out, I would have thought we were still on track to correcting lower back down to our bottom support level so it's not surprising to me but i want to in, you know enlighten you guys about this you know volume is also dying off so we're probably going to start to see prices eventually head lower and lower and lower um as we are going to probably hit from point b to c that's pretty much where the target is so if you guys are interested in or curious about how to invest into this where we're going to be moving to or just what's to come within crypto definitely make sure to stick around subscribe turn on post notifications, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and let's jump into today's episode. All right, guys, so I want to start off with this article. And I mean, you guys know pretty much most of it. And if you don't, then you can go back to yesterday's video and kind of watch over what exactly we talked about in regards to China banning all these cryptocurrencies and all businesses or entities or outside uh, exchanges that want to market to China. They banned all of it. So basically, to sum up everything, what you guys really need to look at is pretty much this last paragraph. It says the Chinese government's move to rein in cryptocurrency also has to do with its desire to exert more control over economic activity in the country. As we know, Bitcoin and its brethren were designed as a tool to facilitating transactions without institutional authorities like banks or governments. So allowing them to flourish in any country takes some power away from the state actors. And China is now trying to supplement uh, Bitcoin by creating its own digital currency known as ECNY. That's new to me, and I'm glad we talked about that, which, is, uh, which will be backed by the government pretty much like any other crypto or like any other currency it's all pretty much they're just backed by the government and the military just like the u.s dollar is backed by the government and the military so however ecny has only superficial similarities to bitcoin and doesn't use blockchain the ledger technology at ledger technology at the heart of all cryptocurrencies so not really a crypto but just their own digital currency two different things um, so the unveiling of the new restrictions, yada, 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 we discussed about that. So very interesting. Didn't know they were creating ECNY. That's very interesting. We'll have to look at that later on. But uh, moving on into how this has pretty much affected these cryptocurrencies comes down to XRP moving forward in in the uh, in the video. So as you guys can see, the one thing I just want to add on is the bottom support level. I've been kind of playing around with this, whether or not it's something like this or whether it's most likely something like this. That's what I'm looking at. And that's what I'm pretty much considering this support level to be uh, basically the tops of these as resistance. And then it became the bottoms as supports in our big descending fractal to the downside here. So it's pretty much giving us a trajectory of where we're hitting supports and bouncing off resistances here. And we're kind of at the top. So I do believe we're going to continue to scale this pattern back to the downside here for those that are new. And we got a lot of new subscribers. So shout out to you guys. You can see for the most part, we're in a very big, vibrant Elliott Wave channel right here. We can zoom out as we haven't really talked about the weekly on XRP for quite some time now. You can kind of see how we are still overextended from this moving average right here and XRP for the most part has tended to come back down to its bottom support when it does decide to, you know, raise itself above here. I mean, for the most part, even though this moving average hasn't been on the weekly chart for that long, uh, at least on the Bitfinex exchange, you can see when it does tend to explode up, we do come back down to retest the support. And notice how beautiful that this uh, symmetrical triangle that we have drawn in also correlates with the uptrend and the moving averages here. So notice the moving averages 
when this price comes back down and retest 70 cents, not only is that perfectly in line with our beautiful symmetrical triangle and bottom support level, or that terrible line, you can see just like that, it also aligns perfectly with our moving average, which we have noticeably retested numerous occasions here. Last time at point A, we retested pretty much right at the green band and then shut up. And by the time we come back down to scale this, pretty much the early early October, I would say, which should be the end of this bear run, we should see prices retest not only this bottom support level, but also the moving averages here, which would be a good signal to say, okay, we're at the bottom, time to actually start to scale back up. And that's pretty much what we're looking for. So ultimately, I do believe the rest of September is going to be pretty bearish for crypto and bearish for XRP. And it won't take, it'll probably, you know, obviously the earlier this comes, if we, you know, hit the bottom by end of September, we'll probably see the remainder of October start to swing up. But I do believe that maybe mid October and all of November should be fairly bullish until uh, point D. And then we should probably see point E become slightly bearish. But within point E, we'll see the breakout to the upside. That's ultimately what we're looking for. Point E is about half of December, and we'll see the rally to the upside there. That's ultimately what I'm expecting and anticipating for XRP. So for those holding on, what are you anticipating? Well, we discussed a couple days ago that once we confirmed a break below our bottom support level at a dollar and five cents, it would be key and prime to buy in. Yes, we saw a big reversal back up, and that was due to the ripple effect and the big volume spike that we had right here, which was anticipated, but we're still in it bearish. I mean, we still have trades going in that we're leveraging back down to the downside. Obviously, if you had trade the, traded this with a high leverage level, you probably would have gotten liquidated because of the immediate reversal up. But we created a stop loss at about a dollar and five cents. And since then we're slowly coming back down. Yes, from where we bought in when this price closed right here at 92 cents and where we're currently trading at like 94 cents, we are still slightly above that level. But I believe in the next couple of days, we're gonna be heading down much lower there. So honestly, what that means is if you hadn't already bought in here, like if I hadn't bought in at levels uh, at 92 cents, I would, I would personally be buying in at levels right here, anticipating you know short opportunities to the downside, still creating stop losses a little bit higher. You can either put that maybe at a dollar or even at a dollar and five cents, considering that would be its uh, stop loss level and, and potential reversals to the upside there. But that's pretty much what I would do, maybe a dollar and five cents. But if I hadn't bought in here, I would have bought it here and we'd be in the same position. So I'm not worried, but this is a long-term hold uh, probably for a couple, like a week or two. So that's pretty much what I want to get at with you guys for XRP. Now this transfers on and carries on to these other cryptos. We do have um, Ethereum also forming some sort of descending triangle here, descending fractal. We're drawing this on as we speak to kind of show you guys what we're looking at. We're dealing with some sort of bearish movement like this, some sort of descending fractal uh, falling wedge, whatever you want to call it, that is probably going to scale us lower. The only difference is XRP is actually below and it's been battling its top resistance and the top moving averages. Ethereum has been trading above it, using it as a support only because Ethereum is fairly, uh, it's been more bullish than XRP and these other cryptos. But with all going according to plan, we should see it confirm breaking below its moving average shortly. That's what I anticipate, if not a little more consolidation. And then it's going to topple over and correct down to point C. And that's pretty much what we're looking at for all these cryptos. Everything is going to be heading to point C on its Elliott wave formation. And that's really ideally what you need to know. Yes, Bollinger Bands are fairly extended. They're slowly starting to creep back in and get closer together. But it doesn't necessarily look good. Uh, we are retesting bottom supports. There's a lot of supports here that we are retesting, but for the most part, this coin wants to head back down lower. This coin wants to pull back and it just doesn't seem like it's likely going to do that. We're retesting the top of the Bollinger Band here, or sorry, the middle of the Bollinger Band. And usually uh, it really doesn't look bad, but there's a chance we could break through it. And that's honestly what I'm anticipating. It's a very small, not too uh, strong of a support that I do believe we're going to correct below that. And that carries on to pretty much all these cryptocurrencies. You can see Bitcoin as well is going to correct lower here um, today only we're going to cover Cardano and then I'll probably leave it out and make separate videos on it so we'll see how that goes but you can see for or maybe who knows what I'll do uh, but you can see for right now um, card or Bitcoin is starting to correct lower Bitcoin's starting to reverse downwards. You can see that uh, in the stair-stepping pattern as expected and anticipated. It's what we figured was going to come to this market here. So I do believe this short pattern is going to continue to pull us lower and lower and lower and pretty much back down to point C here on our Elliott wave. This is a very strong Elliott wave that we've been tracking for quite some time now. We completed the point A. Now we're looking for B to C here and we're uh, probably halfway through it. So I do believe by the end of this, 
uh, probably early October to mid-October, the latest, we should see completion of point C on the L8 wave, putting us down to maybe $37,000, 36.8. And then we'll start to carry ourselves back up. But September is a bearish month for crypto, bearish month for Bitcoin specifically. So I do believe it's going to slowly lower ourselves lower and lower and lower. And that carries on to pretty much all these cryptocurrencies here. Otherwise, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. If you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.